Keith Garcia, champion three gunner. Not too shabby with the shotgun. Uh, do that again. Hey guys, this is Mac again, and welcome back. Got a great episode of Benelli Mods for you today. You saw Keith Garcia do this great tip for reloading one shell really quickly into your shotgun. I'm gonna show you how to do it today, so stay tuned. That's what's coming up next in today's episode of Benelli Mods. Okay guys, this mod is super simple and really inexpensive. First, you can do this to any shotgun. Now, you're gonna see a lot of people with Benelli M2s and three gun, but if you got a Versamax or a JM Pro or a Stoger, it's all good. This is a very generic shotgun mod. You're gonna need two items, basically. The most important of which are these rare earth magnets. Now, I looked everywhere for these. I ended up finding exactly what I wanted at Hobby Lobby, okay? I tried Lowe's, Home Depot, Walmart, even Harbor Freight. And everywhere that I was looking, I was just finding generic ceramic magnets. And I actually purchased a few of these, but they weren't nearly strong enough. Now these are the neodymium uh, rare earth magnets, and they are incredibly strong. Um, these from Hobby Lobby were in the craft section, and they are three quarters of an inch, which is essentially just about the same size as a shotgun shell. Now what you're going to notice about these rare earth magnets is even though they're really thin, they are incredibly strong. This is a little pack of three and these things are so hard to get apart because they're just so strong. You cannot pull them apart. You basically have to slide them apart there. Um, and this is really how thin they are. They're literally the same size as a nickel. Okay, Really, really thin. Here you see a standard 12 gauge shotgun shell and that's essentially how it's going to work. Almost the same size as the brass there, but very, very strong. Now the second item you're going to need is just some quick epoxy. This is five minute epoxy. I picked this up at the hardware store and this is what we're going to use to actually stick the magnet onto our Benelli shotgun and make it permanent, okay? We also want to make it a very clean installation and something low profile in that you know maybe we don't use this on every stage we want to make sure it's out of the way so that it doesn't impair the function of our shotgun under normal conditions now to get set up what we want to do here is just lightly brace our shotgun into a vise now i'm using two pieces of wood here um, and just a nice microfiber cloth here to keep things from getting scratched up okay and the area we're going to be working is actually going to be right here on the trigger guard Before I epoxy this down, I actually just want to get a little bit of a test fit using some double-sided tape. That way I can take the shotgun down and maybe try and load it a couple times to make sure that the position on the trigger guard is the most appropriate. So I actually also picked up a little bit of double-sided scotch tape here. And I'm going to cut a small piece off here, just about the same size as this magnet, and just temporarily stick it down. Let's just do a quick dry run, okay, with our magnet temporarily installed with scotch tape. Just got a regular 12 gauge shell here. This is exactly how it would be oriented for me to weak can load. That's how I like to load my quads, is weak can. So after the buzzer, beep, you invert the shotgun and just throw it in the shotgun just like that. Easy as pie, really quick, and 
I think this is a good spot for it. So let's get our epoxy going and get it set. Okay, that's really all there is to it. Uh, the set time for this particular brand of epoxy is one hour, but you know what, it's late in the day. I'm just gonna let it sit overnight, and I'm gonna come back tomorrow morning, and we'll finish up the video, and we'll see our results, and I'm really excited to load this thing. All right, guys, now it's the next morning. My Benelli's been sitting all night. Hopefully everything's nice and cured, and very sticky and secure to the trigger guard. So let's get it out of the uh, device this morning and uh, maybe give it a little practice here with some reloads. You can see here, uh, the magnet looks really great there. And I feel like I did a pretty good job with the adhesion so that I didn't make a big mess. It looks nice and neat and professional. Now, uh, we're gonna use some dummy rounds here to just demonstrate how this works. Um, let's say you're starting port arms. You see how it's very secure there. Let's say you start low ready. Again, right here and out of the way. And after the buzzer, all you would have to do is just invert the shotgun if you're a weak hand loader, and just toss it in the shotgun. Now, you can do this um, as a strong hand loader as well. And what I would do is just rock the shotgun here and just toss it in, just like that, easy peasy. One more time, weak hand, very, very quick. I absolutely love this modification for my Benelli. I want to say thanks to Keith Garcia for coming up with such a great idea. Hopefully you guys can do this very easily and very quickly to your shotgun. Just remember, about five bucks and about five minutes of your time and you can do this really simple and easy mod to your shotgun. So once again, this is Mac. If you haven't already, be sure that you subscribe to my channel to get really cool videos just like this one every two weeks on a Tuesday. And once again, always take a new shooter out to the range and get someone else interested in this great sport that we love. Once again, this is Mac. Be safe out there, and we'll see you next time. Hey, we'll be loaded. Let's try some of these arms. Let's just take it out of the vise here. Seriously, an airplane. Um, so I'm just gonna clamp it light here. Two boards. <laughs>